Good morning, everyone. We're excited this Saturday, beautiful morning, fall morning. Uh, we are uh, reading 365, and we have John Abel, who will be read sharing stories with us. John has participated in our 500 men reading. Uh, he is a, a native of central Pennsylvania. He lives in Hershey. He has two grown children that he has read to and gotten them out the house and they're in college. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I think uh, he, he's an attorney. And, but more importantly, he got a little dog there with him. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to steal your thunder job. I'm really, That's excited right. about, I'm really excited about the dog. So maybe you can uh, introduce him at some point. But John, we're, we're excited to have you. And we're excited to have you share stories with us this, with right. us this morning. Well, thank you, and, and it's just, it's wonderful to be here this morning. Um, and as Floyd said, you'll probably hear in the background my my it's about a five month old Labrador puppy uh, named Scarlet. So I will introduce her. Um, I was hoping uh, she can stay at bay. Uh, I have a, a one, if not two, books to read this morning, and uh, I will certainly uh, make sure that she gets a cameo appearance uh, for folks that uh, that love puppies and and who doesn't love puppies. Right. And John, if, if while she's barking, we're just going to chalk this up as a sound effect. OK, <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Improvise. Yes. <laughs> well, let, me get, let, let me get started. Um, so the book that I chose uh, this morning actually was one that I um, it's been around for a while. And as, as Floyd said, my, my children are actually in both in college now, but this is a book that I read to them when they were younger. Um, I always enjoyed it. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's the, um, the author uh, is Eric Carl, and I'm going to try to do the best I can to show you some of the pictures because it's very, very colorful pictures uh, in the book. That's the opening picture. Um, and then um, we start off here with the very hungry caterpillar. Um, for man, it's he, de he dedicates this book for my Krista, for my sister Krista. So here's the here's the opening page. If you can see this, um, it starts at nighttime. Uh, In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You can see just a little white egg there. Everybody see that? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So there's the sun coming up. And if you look, you can see the little caterpillar right there. He started to look for some food. So he's looking around, looking for food. On Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. He was very hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. There's the strawberries. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Five oranges. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, 
one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. This is everything that the very hungry caterpillar ate on Saturday. So the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Went up and ate through a green leaf and he was feeling better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. So look how big he got. <laughs> he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the end of that one. Very well done. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me go out here and have everyone meet Scarlett. I think she calmed down a little bit. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> here, girl. Okay, everybody. So a this is reveal. months old. <laughs> and this oh. is Scarlet. Say hello to everybody out there, Scarlet. You know she's not gonna say a word, right? She's not, now she's gonna be well behaved. I, I heard her in the behaved. background yeah. the whole yeah. time you were reading practically, and now nothing. Right now she was <laughs> the bar. So she's uh she's a black Labrador retriever. She has a little bit of shepherd in her. She what you call a rescue dog. What? Um, yeah, and we've had there's a yawn. She was sleeping in the sun. Um, nice. So everyone can say hello to Scarlett. Um, Beautiful coat. Yeah, she is. Yes, she just yeah. it's just, it's, a, it's very very soft. Yeah. All right, girl. Let me get you back. I'm gonna have to give her a bone to chew on. So hang on just for one minute. And we have do, no we, have time for, do we have time for one more book? Yeah, please. Okay, good, great. Yeah. great. All right, yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, we wanna thank you all again for joining us to uh, read today and listen to stories, uh, reading 365. And I'm going to put in the link, um, the, in, in, the, in the chat um, a stream, uh, a link so that you can uh, sign up if you'd like to. We're now uh, scheduling people for November and December. October is practically filled up. So um, every single day at 11 o'clock, if you have time to share a story uh, with the child, grades, uh, second grade and below, we'd love to have you participate. So please, 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 uh, I'm gonna put in the chat uh, box, uh, the link for you to sign up to be a part of Reading 365. We've had some wonderful stories so far, and we just look forward to just many, many more for the next year until September 30th, 2021. So thank you. Okay, we're back. So I think we have some time left, um, and I'd like to read another um, Eric Carl book. Um, they're all very, always very colorful. Um, yes. 
and uh, just a lot of fun to, uh, to read and to look at the pictures. That's why I picked those. So this one is called The Very Clumsy Click Beetle. <laughs> so again, you can nice. see really pretty colors here at the beginning. Um, all sorts of greens and blues and blacks. Um, okay. So one fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. And there he is down there. That looks a lot like the sun from the other book, doesn't it? At noon, it climbed up and down a flower. In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. In the evening, it crawled along the tall blades of gla gra glass, grass, excuse me, grass. And when it turned night, the young click beetle crept up a tree. After a while, it got tired and fell to the ground. It landed on its back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn over on to its feet, but it couldn't help, it cried. So there he, the young click beetle fell um, onto the click beetle's back. All along, all along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning, I will teach you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet, said the wise old click beetle. In the meantime, you might as well go to sleep. Good night. So there's the other beetle that me met up with the young click beetle. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, look at me, this is how it's done. First, it turned on its back, and then with a loud click, there's a young click beetle watching the old click beetle. It flipped through the air and landed on its feet. Now you try it, said the wise old beetle. There's the wise old beetle. He landed on his or her feet. Thank you, that looks easy, replied the young click beetle. Just then, an earthworm stuck his head up out of the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the, be said the turtle. Keep on trying. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then a mouse scurried by. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but landed on its back. Just then, oh, what was this? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move, it was scared. Quick, click and flip, cried the wise old click beetle who was watching. And the young 
click beetle clicked and flipped through the air, but this time it did three graceful somersaults. One, two, three. And landed on its feet. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. And there's the end. I hope you enjoyed both of those books um, by Eric Carl. There's a lot more out there if you would want to go to your library and check them out. Wonderful, John. John, you, you don't know this, but um, Eric Carl, you know, had such a profound effect on me, children's books, that my first book that I wrote was kind of patterned after <laughs> The Very Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> Teddy, the... the the hungry little bear, <laughs> right? So, so I, I mean, I, I love him. I know he lives up uh, in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's up in age. You know, I, I, I've lost track. I haven't followed him lately, but he's definitely up in age. He's just a fantastic author and illustrator using collage, you know, uh, to, to create his books and his vibrant colors and just, the one, just wonderful stories. Just, you did, you did a great job picking picking <laughs> Thank him. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm sure you had you had some wonderful moments that you know shared Eric Carr books with your kids, right? right? Right. Yes, we did. They 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 really enjoyed it. It's funny that there's still a couple favorites to this day. Um, um, there was a dinosaur book I can remember reading, um, and of course they all they all love Dr. Seuss, Good Night Moon. All those were just yeah. had a lot of great memories. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Well, well, well. Thank you for sharing your 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 gift of reading, and and your Scarlet with right. us. I will. Yes, yeah, Scarlet. <laughs> yep. I think she's quieted down now. She's chewing on her bone. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, well thank you, and and folks, have have a fantastic day this beautiful Saturday. Uh, join us tomorrow for Reading Three Sixty Five, and we'll see you later. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. All right. Goodbye.